What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. The Cenotaph Mask Exotic Helmet is now available for Warlocks in Season of the Deep. I just got my hands on one earlier today, and while I had mixed feelings before using this exotic, I've quickly found it to be a very viable exotic armor choice for several in-game activities. The Cenotaph comes with the intrinsic trait called High Priority. This provides multiple benefits, and for the most part, they're all completely passive. When a trace rifle is equipped, its magazine will be automatically reloaded over time, performing similar to that of auto-reloading mods. But what's better about this is that it reloads while the trace rifle is equipped. So that's its first benefit, barely mid-level. Now we get into the meat of this sandwich, damaging a tier 3, 4, or higher enemy with a trace rifle that matches your subclass, marks them as a high-priority target. This includes champions, Envoys in Gambit, Lucent Hive, Mini Bosses, and Bosses. These targets will be highlighted in red for 10 seconds. This timer can be re-triggered with additional Trace Rifle shots. If your allies defeat this target within this 10 second window, a heavy ammo brick will drop for your teammates. There's a hidden feature included in this exotic that's not mentioned in its description. When this effect is triggered, there's a high chance that you will receive a special ammo brick as your teammates receive their heavy brick. The addition of this hidden trait is really what draws my interest towards this exotic, setting aside the fact that this is the most absurd looking helmet that I've ever seen. While this exotic might look like a watered down version of the Aeons, there's actually a lot more at play here, and it can become especially beneficial when you use this exotic in content that features a lot of champions and mini bosses like Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls, or Dungeons and Raids. This can serve as a perfect support exotic that can synergize extremely well with the Divinity Trace Rifle. One of the biggest hurdles to overcome when running a Divinity build is ammo economy. So to be able to spawn special ammo bricks by letting your teammates finish those big guys off is pretty damn awesome. This exotic doesn't give any benefits to ammo scout mods, but you can still run ammo finder and ammo reserve and ammo scavenger, both of which can increase the amount of special ammo that you pick up from each brick. The cenotaph doesn't just synergize with the divinity and arc builds. There's a ton of top tier trace rifles like the hollow denial, wave splitter, agar scepter, cold heart, prometheus lens, and so many others, including a new strand trace rifle that will release later this season. So there's a lot of applications that this exotic can be useful for. With the Bricks from Beyond artifact mod no longer being available, the introduction of this exotic can even facilitate the use of double special loadouts. So Guardians, is the Cenotaph exotic helmet an exotic that you see making its way into the end game of Destiny? And what are your thoughts on the Cenotaph's crazy aesthetics? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you, as always, for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.